How's it going everybody? Today we're gonna to be diving in and taking a look at Discmania's newest mold, the DD. The DD is a 11 speed rated driver. It's got six glide, negative three turn, and two fade, meaning that this disc should be gliding down the fairway effortlessly, and it's definitely gonna have a lot of side to side movement on it. The rim is kind of a medium sized rim, definitely not as small as a PD, but it feels less chunky in the hand than let's say a DD3 does. These discs, I wouldn't say are domey, they're on the flatter side. As you can see, there's not enough dome there to give it a heartbeat, but it's not board flat. This first iteration comes out in our S-Line plastic. As you can see there, here, there's plenty of colors and I'm sure there's gonna be more to choose from. Let's see how it checks out. Starting off, I'm throwing these discs with a very, very slow arm speed, about 50%. And even at this speed, you can see the DD wants to turn over and it's gonna hold that turn. The Enigma kind of flips up in the middle of the flight, but at this speed, it still wants to come back down left versus the DD one and the Cloud Breaker at this speed really just want to get down to the ground and you're not going to see much glide. Throwing these discs on a forehand hyzer. I have a little less torque on the forehand so you can see the DD kind of come out of it at the end versus the Enigma. Flipping up a little bit again, similar flights versus the backhand. Both the DD1 and the Cloud Breaker at this speed, you're not gonna to see too much glide, just a nice consistent fade throughout about half of the flight. Next, I'm throwing these discs high to the left, but still on a hyzer. Again, you can see that S-Line DD just flips over and travels to the right. The Enigma will flip over and go right, but last 30% of the flight, you can see it hyzering out. The DD1, tries a little bit there in the middle, but has so far the most fade, and the Cloud Breaker is gonna be similar to somewhere in between that DD1 and Enigma. And then throwing them on a little bit of hyzer, a little harder. Again, you can see the DD1 at this speed likes to have some more glide, likes to have that straight flight. And even on this shot, I, I had to almost take some wrist action off of it because if I throw these DDs in my preferred power range, they're really kind of just turning over and almost turning into a roller angle. You can kind of see the Enigma, definitely more overstable than the DD and the Cloud Breaker in this power range, no problems. Moving to some on the course action, here you can see, even when thrown on a hyzer, how much left to right movement this disc can have when thrown 60 plus miles an hour. Here on this shot, I have a pretty good tailwind. So you can see it holds a little more than usual with a little bit of a stronger fade. Really fun throwing this disc into tailwinds. What I really enjoyed with this disc was how easy it was to lay down some big rollers. Here on this hole, you can see the low ceiling, opting for the roller, getting 460 plus feet, no problem. And then on the forehand, like I mentioned, very easy to throw on a hyzer, flips up to flat very quickly and holds the turn throughout the entirety of the flight. Again, here showing how you can put the disc on a good amount of hyzer. You really have to be aware of how much spin you put on the disc so you don't overturn it. What do you guys think of the flight of the new DD? Personally, I was surprised at how flippy this driver is, but that's why they give it that negative three turn rating. And the six glide is no joke either. I can throw this disc at 50, 60%, and it just wants to glide down the fairway without coming to the ground. Personally, this disc is gonna be more of a maybe backhand roller option, or on the forehand, which doesn't have as much torque as my backhand, it's gonna be a great little stand up from a hyzer option, watch it go straight or turn for the entirety of its flight. 
For people that aren't throwing the disc as hard, this could be a new long distance, max distance driver. If you struggle turning over an Enigma or a DD3, you might wanna get one of these and try it. It kind of reminds me of a longer, faster Essence. This disc is gonna drop on September 13th on the Discmania website, so make sure to check it out. Also, check out Discmania's social channels, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Like and comment on this video. Let me know what you guys wanna see next, and I'll see you guys in the next one.